musician and actor who first blew up on YouTube 10 years ago when one of his videos shot to 1 million views within 24 hours. He's gone on to create chart-topping tracks with artists like Fetty Wap, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, as well as his own show, Dave, which you can see on FX and Hulu. His new album is out now, and it's called Penis. <laughs> <laughs> You got through it. It's like, I'm gonna have to say it several times. I love him so much. Everybody say hello to Lil Dicky. <laughs> You are so funny. Like yeah. it's it's hilarious. It's lovely to meet you, by the way. Have you, you met too. Lester? Yeah, we just met just now. Yeah. Okay, you go way back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're old friends. How did how did you get your start in music? Well, you know, I've always been a huge fan of, of hip hop and rap. Uh, one of the earliest memories I have is in fifth grade, I actually had to do a report uh, on the Russian poet. Alexander Pushkin. I don't know why Which I... Which is what every kid is dying that's what, to do. That's what they taught us back yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I just delivered... Oh my God, I love you so much. <laughs> and that's when I knew I was the man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I was that Nailed guy, it. and I just delivered uh, this boring kind of report via rap, and I got an A, and everyone was like, I love the way you did that. Yeah. And I kind of carried that You spirit were Hamilton before. Before Hamilton. Exactly. Kind of, yeah. yeah. And then I got a job, like I car carried that energy into the workforce, like I went to college and then I, I worked at an ad agency and I again had to do a boring report and I remembered fifth grade and I thought why don't I do this report on Doritos chip sale data as a wrap and it, man, everyone at the ad agency loved it. And it's I a thought, bold move because it could have gone poorly. Well, I remember yeah. fifth grade, I remember yeah. fifth grade and it went and well back, yeah, exactly, yeah. so and then Honestly, I was like, wow, if everyone's reacting so favorably to these raps about like Russian poets and Doritos chip sale data, imagine, imagine if I use my comedic ideas and, and rap that way. So that's kind of, now I'm here. Yeah, exactly, with yeah. Peanut, the album. Yes. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So explain the show, Dave, for everybody. Yeah, I have a TV show uh, loosely based on my life. Uh, a lot of stuff that actually happened to be in life is represented in the show. and it's. Yeah story about an up-and-coming rapper just trying to succeed and, you know, pursuing happiness along the way with his friends and family. Yeah. It is, I ask this because, like, with comics, they use their family a lot and, like, for material. Do you use, like, your family or friends, and do they like that? Uh, well, sometimes they don't. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I just, you know, I've learned along the way, like, sometimes we're like, I'll you know, use a friend's name and the story actually happened. I don't use the last name, but then my friend will be like, why on earth did you use my real name? And then I learn that lesson. Yeah. And then I make it, and if a guy's name is John, I'll make it, you know, Luis or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, complete. I thought you were yeah. gonna be like, Johnny. I was gonna say Jeff, and I was like, it's not, it's too JJ. But yeah, you know, you try to be sensitive to people, but at the end of the day, I, I am a comedian, and I just have to pull from yeah. my life. Um, but your character in Dave wrote a love song for Rachel McAdams. First of all, I yeah. love you dream big. You've yeah. had Brad Pitt, Rachel McAdams. You've had some really big players on your show. Yeah. Do people go, hey, maybe this won't pan out, like in the writer's room? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. first off, I, this season, for example, we had Rachel McAdams, Brad Pitt, and Drake. And uh, not just like, Drake. not like passing cameos. These are like the entire plot of the whole season relies on these three specific people and I have no relationships with any of them. And we like write the whole script and, you know, at least with Drake, I had met him and he told me how much he loved the show, but with Brad and Rachel, really I was just kinda yeah. praying. And just it was- In the dark, I just, shot. Yeah. I just, I just, I, I believed that, you know, if they saw the show, they would love it. And sure enough, both of them were m massive fans of the show. So when I reached yeah. out, they were like, yeah. And sometimes all you gotta do is ask. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you ask and they say no. I know. Just, maybe not for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm lucky. What was it like working with Rachel? I'm such a huge Rachel McAdams fan. Surreal, you yeah. know? Like, and like in the show, for example, my character makes this kind of over the top love tribute to Rachel because we all kind yeah. of grow up with yeah. celebrity. Like for me, like oh, when crying in the rain, the notebook. Let's just talk about it. Yeah. I'm like a, a 13 year old boy, like yeah. experiencing the notebook, like yeah. wondering what is love. And then I see like her and I'm like, oh, that's what love is. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, exactly. And so I, it was really a full circle moment to like have this whole thing come yeah. to fruition in my show. She's actually in the show. We're shooting the music video for the song. In the, it's really a dream come true. That's so cool. Yeah.
Who is like your celebrity crush when you were a kid? Oh, um, I don't know, Lori Partridge. I, I, um, <laughs> the Partridge family? <laughs> well, yeah, you two. No, I know who that no, is. Yeah, I just yeah. mine was like wild. Mine was like Steven Tyler. <laughs> oh, oh, you, or like cool. Josh Brolin. <laughs> like, wow. Bad boys. Like, yeah. I like a bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Sure. We all do. Yeah, it's boring otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> so well, new, your new album, Penith, um, relates to the show. Are you How gonna so? Counter and how many times Look, she I'm said just that? gonna keep. It's like any time I get to say Shit's Creek when they come on, and then you have to put the poster up. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Uh, yeah, it's my character in. So what this album is is uh, it's a soundtrack of all the songs because the show is about a rapper, and in the show yeah. there's so much music. So I kind of made a compilation of all the songs that have entered the show in some way, shape, or form and put together an album for it. In the yeah. show, my character puts out an album called Penis, which I just <laughs> thought was a funny joke. It is. Uh, and then when it was time to actually title this, this real life project, I thought, why don't we just adapt that same title? In five seasons, I've never been able to introduce someone with so much joy. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's take another break, everybody. Dave is on FX and Hulu, and Lil Dicky's new album is out now. It's called Penis. And you can find <laughs> Penis wherever you get your music. <laughs> I love my writers. <laughs>